This is going to be a big week for us because Miss Sweet Tea will be having her puppies very soon. Let me show you what her belly looks like. She's just constantly asking me to rub her belly. So there's Sweet Tea's belly at the moment. Very pregnant little Miss Sweet Tea. You are so cute, Sweet Tea. You just can't let go of your little toys, can you? Yes, you just carry them around like they're little babies. You're so cute. You're waiting on your little babies to come. Yes. What a sweetie you are, sweet tea. Yes. Do you want a belly rub? She says, yes, I want a belly rub, but I can hardly turn over. I can hardly turn over. My belly is so big. Yes. Last night, several times during the night, she woke up and wanted to get down for a few minutes. Yes. Sweet Tea, we love you. Yes, we do. Sweet Tea is in the very early stages of labor and she's having some contractions occasionally. The other thing that's happening that I find so fascinating is sometimes you can see the puppy's movement here as they move across her belly. But she's doing a great job. Sweet Tea, you're such a pretty girl. And we are all ready for you to have your puppies. Sometimes this goes on like this for several days. So you'll notice in terms of how I've set things up for whelping, I have layers of pads. I have towels. So each little puppy would have its own little towel that it will get cleaned with. I have extra backups. I have uh, notes that I can take to uh, indicate the times puppies were born. Hemostats to clamp off um, the umbilical cord and then to cut the cord and clean out nasal passageways and oral cowl for mom between puppies. I also have a little septic. Um, this stops blood and so if there's some bleeding somewhere going on that I want to uh, stop and I always say it wrong. I just caught it didn't I? I said it wrong again. Well um, styptic, I think is the way you say it, but um, inevitably I will have messed that one up, but it's whatever this is that men use often, or women use, I guess too, to stop bleeding if they cut themselves while shaving. So that's what this is, and I always have one of these. I've learned several times that if um, a, the umbilical cord gets cut too short, then this can stop the bleeding Super fast. You might be thinking, Sean, why would you cut the umbilical cord too short? Well, I can assure you, I don't do that. That can happen sometimes if, um, and it has only happened to me once, but if mom is working on the umbilical cord and gets a little too close to the belly, that has happened. And given the number of puppies that we're having, we've got this set up too going on. And here's my little food scale. This is like a kitchen food scale. And this is where I will weigh puppies. We've got our little monitor ready. So, sweet tea, we're just waiting on you now whenever you would like. Sweet tea is in early labor. And she is showing signs of contractions and heavy breathing. So we've got her in a space where she feels very safe. This is in bed where she sleeps every night. And as she starts having more contractions, I will keep her on these pads. I've got them layered here so that I can pull them up I've got lots of towels. I've got all the things I need right here in hand's reach. But Miss Sweet Tea is getting ready to have her puppy. Mother Nature has more to do with the time of arrival for puppies than either Sweet Tea or I do because 
If it was up to us, we would have already done this, wouldn't we, if Sweet Tea? Because we've been ready now and we're set. Some of you may be wondering a little bit more about my setup here. And I have an ottoman right next to my bed that enables me to sit on the ottoman. And when I'm sitting on the ottoman, then my um, ability, so this is the viewpoint that I have, and I can see her back end really well, or I can see all of her, but certainly the area that I need to, to look at for birthing. And here she goes, she's doing a little digging again, starting. And as soon as a puppy is born, so when one puppy arrives, I will have this puppy right here when the second puppy starts to come. And so she'll be able to see the puppy and she'll know that the first puppy is here, but she's not going to be able to sit on, squash, roll on, whatever, the first puppy. And then maybe even when the second puppy, depending on their sizes, um, we might have one and two in here. And then once we graduate to more puppies, since this is the biggest litter I've ever had, I've got my bassinet all ready to go. And as soon as she starts having the first puppy, this is like a little bean bag kind of thing. And it will go in the microwave. And so it will be heated, enabling us to help keep puppies warm. So this is our thinking. And as you can tell, we are really ready, but who knows? It could be another day or so. Several of you have said to me that you would really like to see what it's like for mom dog and for me when they're in labor. And I will do my best to video the labor, but please understand there are a bunch of variables that go on, such as if everything goes well and I have help here, then it will be easier to video everything. In fact, I've got my tripod right here set up and I've got the pacing or, or the um, lo logistics on that all set up so that we can uh, video. But again, Mother Nature's going to have something to do with this. If Sweet Tea is able to deliver completely on her own, everything just fine, that's great. But if we need to go in for a C-section, I obviously will not be recording what happens in the C-section because I don't get to see that either. And what happens when we have a C-section is um, I get mom dog and the puppies back about 20 minutes after the C-section has been performed. And then what my role is, is to make sure that the puppies latch on and get to nursing very quickly. Oftentimes with a C-section, a mom dog doesn't know that those are her puppies. And so you really have to monitor that very carefully to make sure mom dog doesn't do something to her puppies because she doesn't know they're hers. But my hope is, my prayer is, and if you would join me in that, just say a little prayer for Miss Sweet Tea that all goes well for her puppies. But I also trust Quaker Town Hospital and I know that they will help me with anything that we might need help with along the way here in Sweet Tea's journey to have her puppies. Thanks for joining us.